table game supervisor at Bally's Twin River, Severton, I'm sorry, Bally's Severton, and I've been in the business for 30 years. I never realized the toll that secondhand smoke had on a person's body, and especially my own body. If I seem upset when I talk, it's because I'm fighting for my life. I have been affected personally severely. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm out of work right now. Um, I have some respiratory issues, CAT scans, I'm getting things done. I'm back on all my medications. Um, I can't run anymore. Um, and it, it's become an issue. And, and this just started past COVID um, when the smoking was reinstated. Um, every day when I walk into the casino, when all of us walk into the casino, all of us dealers, we're knowing that we're being exposed to toxic cancers causing chemicals in exchange for a paycheck that just to support our families. It's not like everybody says you can go get another job. It's not like that. I've been in this business 30 years and this is the only education. This is the only source that I have to make a living. I left the business thinking that I had COPD and um, I had to come back into it in 2018 to help co-parent my grandchildren. And I was using over-the-counter medicines. I started getting inhalers in 2018. Um, I, I was getting tired. I, I, I didn't know what it was. And then um, we shut down for COVID and I got healthy again. I got off all my medications. And I'm talking antidepressants, anxiety, psoriasis. My eyes even got better. Um, then we went back to work and, um, you know, I, I was loving life. We had, um, I had become very active. I started exercising again. Um, the casino was packed with customers. We had um, been opening three sections, full staffed and customers waiting for tables. Today, we can only open up about a half hit and a half. We don't even have the staff to do that because everybody's sick and leaving. They can't tolerate the smoke and nobody wants to come there to work. Um, I, uh, the customers were conditioned to smoke outside. They, a lot of them told us they quit smoking, they smoked less, and they enjoyed the break. They needed that break to come back in, which is one of our training things is, is to give them, you know, that option. Um, when the smoking was reinstated in March of 2022, my sister was up decorating my apartment. She came in from Kansas because I don't like to shop and all that. And besides that. Within a day of coming home, she says to me, Ness, you're going to have to quit. I said, I know, right? It's the secondhand smoke. All these years that I've been sick, it wasn't me. It was this. So I had to establish a new doctor. And as it turned out, I have asthma, not COPD. And when I go into the casino to work and the smoke's um, causing me to go into an asthma attack. So not just myself, but all of us employees, like I'm hacking up in the pit. I have to carry a bottle with me to spit in. That's how much phlegm is coming out of me. And when we see somebody light up a cigarette, we're just, we all look and we're like, this is inhumane. How can you can't for 17 years, it was stopped everywhere else. And we were discriminated against. And you know what? Legislators wrote the law and they wrote them for, they should write it for everybody or none. If Rhode Island wants to have the casinos, because Massachusetts and Connecticut are non-smoking. If they want to have a smoking establishment, then they should make everything smoking. They should make the restaurants smoking, movie theater smoking, the mall smoking. If they want the smoking, then it should be everybody or none. Um, I, uh, I I just want to say too, they talk about the revenue all the time. And a Las Vegas gaming economic experts, um, C3 Gaming, provided a post-pandemic reports. And if you read that, I, I'm sure you all got it from me 300 times. But the data from the multiple jurisdictions clearly indicates Banning smoking no longer causes a dramatic drop in re gaming revenue. In fact, non-smoking properties appear to be performing better than their counterparts, and um, they continue to allow that uh, continue to allow smoking. And also, there's a Spectrum report that was out in November of 2021. And if you read that, you'll find that in there it says uh, that this is good too. And there's also the um, AGA. American Gaming Association CEO and president, and he said that revenue does not have, did not have a detrimental effect on um, casinos when when COVID was there. So I leave you with that. I want to thank you all for listening to me and your patience with me as I email you a million times.